This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Fowdy versus Scott. You all have been together four years and you all engage, but that wedding is on ice because you believe Miss Scott is cheating. Tell me why you have brought this case. I believe that uh, Miss Scott has been cheating on me and she's been using her cell phone to do so. I just read an article about micro cheating. It was about social people on social media and whether or not engaging with the opposite sex online and is it cheating or isn't it? And one of the interesting things about that one was a situation where a man had friended a woman, well, had told a woman she was sexy, his co-worker, and his girlfriend of several years broke up with him because she felt like he was cheating. Sure. Yeah, and I don't talk to any guys online. He's not caught any messages in my phone of me talking to anybody. It's just assumptions. Are you spending a lot of time on your phone? Playing games. 24-7. Uh, and right? I think that's what he's concerned about, that you're playing games on your phone. No, not, I'm not playing games with other people. I'm playing, like, Candy Crush or something. So, I'm looking at you, Miss Scott. It seems like this is having an emotional impact on you. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, I've been going through the same thing for two months now. Like, every single day, it's an argument. I've moved out of the house more than once. So, this... So, these accusations of you cheating on social media or with your phone have actually caused you to live in separate households? Yes. What were the warning signs? She was, uh, withdrawn. She just didn't seem like she was participating in the relationship. Sometimes I felt like she was ignoring me, always looking at the phone. Sometimes I'd talk to her. Did you say, what? huh? So, you've been your normal, charming self and you're getting nothing. Right. You're getting just nothing. talking to a wall. W was it always like that? No, no, no. When we first met, we, uh, we were more engaged, uh, more intimate. But tell me what it was like in the beginning. It was, uh, fun. It was spontaneous, uh, you know, it was... Exciting. It's been a great relationship for all these years and until recently, the past, I'd say, six months or so. Okay. Yes, when it has. When we met, it was, you know, it was a different lifestyle for both of us. Like, the, you know, I didn't bring my kids into it. He didn't bring his, like... But you agree the relationship has changed? It has. Are you on the phone all the time? No, not like he thinks. Well, see, here's the thing. Relationships do change. Yeah. You know, this is something different. This is... All these pieces are starting to add up to make you think there's somebody else involved. There's, there's gotta be something going on. Okay, so what do you have to support that she is, in fact, cheating? I was actually, uh, at a class she, she attends, I had to drop her off, and I had about an hour to kill. Okay. She had left her cell phone in the car and received right. a notification on it, so I was just kind of glancing, being nosy, going through her phone, <laughs> and, uh, seeing some comments on there about, uh, kind of hookups. You know, like a, almost like a nearby friend's hookup. Hookups. What so, do these comments say? Uh, some of them were explicit. Some of them were, weren't. Talked about different meeting places, different times, and things like that. Um, it would suggest to meet somewhere, maybe in a restroom or... What were you gonna do in the restroom? Just literally hook up? Yeah, I come think on. That's, that's, that's what it suggested to do me. Do you think there was, was a specific person she was trying to hook up it, with? It seemed to me it didn't matter who it was or... What's going through your mind when you see that? I was angry and a little disgusted. Do you have apps on your phone where people can contact you about hookup spots? No, ma'am, I do not. So, what was it he was looking at? I don't know what he was looking at. You have never had an application on your phone where someone could say, you meet me here or this is a good place to meet a dude? No. So you're denying this even ever happened? I didn't... I never seen it. Well, when he confronted you about it, what did he you say? He didn't show it to me, no. He did not show it to you? No, sir. Why didn't you do a screenshot of that, Mr. Fowdy? I wish I would have, Your Honor. I do, too. He was probably mm -hmm. shocked. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, I mean, if, he gets, if he's got her phone and it's like, here, meet me here, hook up in the bathroom, I'm sure he's, he's shocked. Yeah, well, I get that, but you should have saved that. Since I had actually got the cell phones and put them in my name, it was almost like they gave me rights to her email, I guess. So, so basically, I had access to her location history, her search history... Okay. ...all that. Mm -hmm. So I went into her location history and seen several addresses that I didn't recognize. Over several months' time, they had you... been repeated... And, Mr. Fowler, you brought an exhibit to demonstrate this. Yes, is that I correct? did. I brought in Would a map. Would you step to the plasma? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, tell us exactly how you found this. Well, 
this is where we live. Okay. And uh, one of the addresses that I saw on the location history, I was familiar with the area. It's this section over here, which is a residential neighborhood. So I figure whoever she's going over there to see is, is in a home. Uh, again, with an address I do not recognize. For her to go there several times over the course of six, eight months, seemed like I would have heard about that address. All right, go ahead. And then there was some locations farther away with addresses I, I'm not familiar with, uh, areas I'm, I'm not as familiar with. And uh, both of those were a lot farther away. About how, how far, far away are they? At least 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, <laughs> so... My family lives so there. So that address is in your neighborhood, kind of, sort of. This one, one that I was here, correct, Your Honor. But these over here, these are the ones that are 45, 45 minutes, minutes away? 45 minutes to approximately an hour. Miss Scott, who are you going to see 60 minutes away? I have all my family, and where I'm from is 45 minutes away from where I live now. And I'm sure that you believe that she's going to see another man in those oh, spots. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Especially the one address that's close by. I mean, I ne I've never... I've never been to that address. Yeah. Not one time right. have I actually been there, and I, I told him, go ahead, let's get in the car and go there. It's close enough. Take me there. I was ready. But you're ready. saying that these three addresses do not involve men that you're going to see because no, that's what he believes. No, ma'am. I've never cheated on him. All right. Do you have any other evidence, physical evidence, that she has been cheating? There was uh, one incident where we were over at a family member's, her family member's home. As soon as I arrived at the home, it seemed like I was being kind of distracted so to speak. Uh, immediately, one of her family members had asked me if I would give him a ride to the service station down the street. Sure, I said. So I took him down there, come back. As Soon as I walked in the door, another one of her family members had said, hey, can come with me. We we're going to go look at something for sale real quick. Go-kart, lawnmower. Sure, I'll go with you. So we, we go on a ride, and it seemed like he was just kind of taking me on a joy ride. So we get back to the house and uh, knock on the door. Oh, hold on. They op I open up the door. And she's standing in front of one gentleman, which uh, it appeared maybe he had, maybe had his phone up or shirt or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, that's, that's kind of what I, okay, what I guess. Wait, she wait, seemed, wait. She seemed startled. Like I, like I caught her doing something. Like, Show me what it looked like. He had his phone kind of up around, maybe by where her stomach, you know, kind of in that area. Like he might have just pulled it out of her shirt. I mean, that's... That was my first thought. So that okay, was your so first thought, was that he had reached into her shirt and grabbed the phone? I, in I front of her was... family. And her family's okay, uh, there. In front of well, my children. Miss Scott, what was going on? We, he was using the flashlight on his phone <laughs> to look at this coin because I have bad eyes up close. And you can't see a date on it. I've showed it to several people around us here, and they can't even see it. Like, it's, it's hard to see. Can we look at that coin? Ron, would you get the coin, please? Yes, Sean. Which this seems unusual to me because just the day day before this, I had gotten a coin from my cousin and it, it was unique. It was and not I had unique. that coin in my pocket as well. I went to show it to her. She had no interest in this coin at all. It was a. <laughs> and then the next day, she's a she's interested it in coins. It was a okay. coin. I'm not a little kid. I've been hearing about it for a long time. So, Mr. Fowdy, if I'm hearing you correctly. She has no interest in your coins, right. but she's interested in another man's coin. <laughs> right, 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 right. Mr. Cutler, what do you think? That's say? what it seemed like. Let me just say this. It's pretty faded, you know, like I'm saying, you know, like it's worn. So if you were really trying to study it, you would need more than just regular light. And okay, so but I, would I need a light up under your shirt, though? It no, was not a, his phone. a shirt under my shirt would not work, but if you had it right here, <laughs> she's saying he was doing it right here. So she could see it. I, you know, I don't... I, I, I gotta say, I can see why the, you would be concerned about being accused. Mm -hmm. Tell him how you feel about these kind of accusations. I mean, you're doing a very innocent thing, looking at a coin. I can see the tears in your eyes. Because I, I don't even feel like I can go to my family's house and hang out without it being a problem. Like, that's, that's ridiculous. I would never make him tell choose between fiance, him and his family. Tell your fiance what you are going through. Hurt. I'm hurt. I'm sad. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. I'm ready to just like if it continues after this, I'm, it's over. I, I mean, I don't want to marry him no more, and he's not the one. Obviously, like I cannot handle it no more. I can't. You cannot continue to live your life. I can't under suspicion. Mm -mm. So if I'm a you... good woman, I've never cheated on him, and if he can't come to you, like if. I can't be with him no more. Mr. Fowdy, look at her and tell her how you're feeling. She knows how I feel. I, I, I just want to get this 
put behind us. I, I just want to know the truth. I just... I've been telling you the truth. I just want an honest, faithful woman and... and Hello. <laughs> someone to grow old with. And you want this relationship to work? Yes, I do, Your Honor. I think we've heard enough testimony. Here's what we see from our vantage point. That you believe your fiance uses her cell phone to cheat, uh, that you found records of secret meetup locations in her cell phone. You've even tracked her cell phone to suspicious areas, and you walk in on her at her family member's house, and she's in a suspicious position after you feel they've kept you out of the house as a ruse. Correct. And all of this has led you to believe that she is involved with someone else. Something's going on, Your Honor. And if you find out she is involved with someone else... I can't continue the relationship. Well, this court has done a complete and full investigation. At this time, the court would like to call cybersecurity expert Mr. Terry Fisher to determine, is she cheating? How are you, Mr. Fisher? Good, Your Honor. What did you do to investigate Ms. Scott's phone? Um, Your Honor, I did a, a full forensic examination of Ms. Scott's phone, and I was able to recover current and deleted messages, apps, browser history, photos, and videos. Mr. Fisher, did you recover anything in Ms. Scott's phone? I did, Your Honor. I recovered photos of three different men. And you have those photos with you? Yes, Your Honor. What do you know about these photos? They were actually downloaded four days ago at 9.47 p.m. That's from me. Four days ago? Yes, Your Honor. Did you find anything else during your investigation? Yes, I did, Your Honor. I found um, a picture here of a naked photo that was a little concerning. Oh. This is a photograph of a naked woman. Her breast is exposed along with her... Private. Private parts. And we don't have a face, so we don't know who this is. That's correct. If you show me the photo, I might be able to tell you. Rod, would you have this to her, please? Yes, Your Honor. This be the photo. No, oh, I don't know. You don't know. All right. So, it's, it's not you. It's not me. Okay. But you have this photo on your phone, but you don't know who it is. No. My two, well, he was two at the time, between, and he's four now, and my uh, seven-year-old always have my phone. The kids? <laughs> You think took this photo? I don't know. Ron, would you hand and this I've to Miss Scott? And I've been getting weird Scott? emails from people. Miss Scott, do you know who those three men are? I know who... Yeah, these two is my best friend, a good friend that has passed away now. I screenshotted them off his page. All right. To further investigate this matter, the court would like to call former military interrogator Miss Lena Sisko. Ron, would you please escort her in? Miss Sisko. How are you, Ms. Sisko? I am well, Your Honor. How are you? Can you tell the court and tell us what you did to investigate this particular case? So when I interrogate someone, I look for indicators of deception and truthfulness, both verbal and nonverbal. At the beginning, Ms. Scott was a tough nut to crack. So mm -hmm. she did not want to talk, and she's a very closed person, both of which can be indicators of deception. Hmm. What did you learn in your investigation? I learned that Ms. Scott did admit some things to me, so they caused me some concerns. She did admit to contacting an ex-boyfriend on Facebook. This was shortly after she had gotten into an argument with Mr. Fowdy. We were and split up, though. They had conversations. They talked about meeting up. However, Ms. Scott claimed that they never did. And then finally, she did admit to having some dating apps and social media apps on her phone that she had used in the past to play guys for money. So you meet a guy and they help you out to pay a bill. But she did tell me that since she's been with Mr. Fowdy, she has not done this. What did you conclude as a result of your investigation? I concluded that Miss Scott What did you conclude as a result of your investigation? I concluded that Miss Scott was telling me the truth, and she has not cheated on Mr. Fowdy. And All right. What? Oh, man. How are you feeling right now, Miss Scott? Relieved, as long as he believes it. 
Mr. Fowley, that's kind of the first smile that you've had, except when you talked about when you first met her. How are you? And you got tears in your eyes. A little bit, Your Honor. All right, tell us how you are in this particular moment. I'm relieved. Good. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry, baby. Mr. Fowler, you clearly were harboring a lot of emotional baggage with this. Oh, yeah. I think this is going to be a good, good, fresh start for our relationship. It will be a great, fresh start for your relationship if you both work together to rebuild the trust. You have got to be willing to put that behind you and move forward. You've got to be willing not to make him suspicious. I didn't think I was. Well, now that you know that this is in his mind, you've got to take some extra steps to make sure that his suspicions don't resurface. We have counseling available for you. Please take advantage of that. Talk to our counselors so you can move forward together and make your relationship grow even stronger than it is now. As we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a good relationship. Court is adjourned. I think we can put this behind us and, and move forward in, in a positive way. Maybe we can move on with the uh, wedding. I think we need to set a date. I think we need to get married. I'm, I'm, I feel a lot better about that.